Hi, this is Amy M. Burns from amymburns.com, and today's Tuesday tech tip is using SoundSlice. So not as creating content, but actually just using it in your classroom. SoundSlice is a really amazing tool, and a lot of people use this. I use this on top of putting um, play-along videos on YouTube. I also put them here. And why I like to put them here is because sometimes I really think it's nice to give you the option as the teacher to isolate the parts. Notice that when you come here, because I put this link in some of my other posts, that it's going to default to the metals. And you can change that just by clicking the filtering buttons right here. So if you decide not to hide anything, you have the full score, which is great. So looking up here, you have volume, and now you have a full score. But I could go and make that video a little bit bigger, or actually put the video to the side and make that the way I want it. Maybe I want it to look like that instead. And of course, I can kind of just push it a little bit like that. Let's look. continue looking. If I don't like the notation that that is very challenging, I can hide it. But if I don't want the note names, hide the lyrics, because that's how I put them there. And maybe I don't want boom whacker colors, so I can turn them off. The zoom level will give you more or less of what you're trying to zoom in. But don't forget about the layout. I like it scrolling down, but you could do this as pages. And you could do this as horizontal notation if you wanted. I mean, there's a lot of options here to help you with the way you would like to use it with your students in your classroom. You can fit the staves to the screen, that's nice, or not, that's up to you, and you can push it around to how you want it to look. I think I'm gonna make, make, make it wider, um, like that, cool. So then, let's talk about transposition. If you look at this, this is in the key of C, this is looking good, but if I have my E flat, saxophonist, right? You know, it's a transposition, alto saxophone. If I have that, I'm going to bring this down to A. And I'm going to turn off the lyrics. And now they could play the top line. All the others, the middle line will play well, but of course, obviously, the bottom line is too low. But you could transpose. It won't change the key. That's the thing. It's not going to change the sound. It's still in the key of C. It's just going to change it for your transposing instruments. That is really cool. So this is for your clarinets. Cool. Okay. Continuing on, if you look at it, this is our playhead style. It's a line and it's orange. I could make that a wide rectangle. I could make it yellow or blue. And I could also make it the entire bar. I like that because then it really pops a little bit more to see. I could keep the playhead at the top of the screen, but a lot of times I like to put it in the middle, especially on the bottom if you put this this way. Because then when it's on the bottom, and it's playing in the middle of the screen, your students just keep their eyes here. And they can look ahead, but they keep their eyes here. Let's look at some of the other options that are here. Um, this talks about auto-saving and waveform and full screen. Yeah, you could do this just as a waveform. And then, of course, there's keyboard shortcuts. You can put this in a lot of different languages. Fabulous. Let's go to the advanced. You might notice when I had it in this way, the marimba was the only one starting because it, it hid the empty staves. So go ahead and unclick that if you want to show it all. Isn't that great? I mean, it's a really, really fabulous tool. Here we'll slow it down or speed it up so you can do that. And what's really cool is you can put a loop in so that the students can just practice one to two to four measures at a time, like depending on what you need them to practice. And of course, if the video is too busy, just take it out and do it with just the score. Have them perform with just the score. SoundSlice is really amazing and you can find other artists that are using it and subscribe to them and see what is else is there. It's really some amazing things on SoundSlice. So take a look at this today. It's a great little page and see who you might follow, who might be up there. Follow me up on here and, uh, and try some of these. Of course, if you wanna learn how to do this, definitely check out Midnight Music. Uh, Katie did a five day challenge on this. So it was a great way to get started on this. So take a look at this today and happy Tech Tip Tuesday.